All right, and welcome to another issue of webdesigner-resource.com video series. That's webdesigner-resource.com video series. Today we're going to talk about how to add a custom form to your WooCommerce product. Now custom forms are great because you can get more information from your uh, prospective client uh, and come up with some really unique items. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Gravity Forms. Gravity Forms allows you to create forms and use those in a variety of things uh, within WordPress. And you're also going to need the WooCommerce Gravity Forms plugin. That allows you to actually use a Gravity Form with a WooCommerce product. So we're going to come up here to Forms. This is what gets installed with Gravity Forms. You can, you can see that you have some settings. And right here, we're going to go to New Form. And by default, we comes up with your blank form here. We can just go to Edit. And here, we're just going to name our form. I'm going to call it Test Form. Now we are getting some errors, and I'm not sure why. I'm guessing that's probably due to some jQuery uh, issues. So now, once we have the form name, that's just really for our reference, we can come over here to where it says Standard Fields, and we can add different fields. And I'm going to just, to add it, you just click on it. So I'm going to click on the single line text, and as you can see, and let a little line of text appear right over here. I'm going to go to Edit. Now I can give this a title. I'm going to call this field, um, let's just say, your name. And in this case, we're going to ask the person for the name. We can have a description. And we can limit the number of characters. In this case, let's put 10. OK, we can make it required. And we can make sure that there are no duplicates. As you can see up here, we've got the little summary. I'm just going to close that. And also, let's add another one. And there it is. We can come down to here and do edit. I'm going to call this one your friend. I'm going to call it your friend's name. There we go. Now, we've added this. We're going to limit this one to 10 characters as well. I'm going to close that. Now a couple of advanced features that you can look at. Uh, number one, we can change the field size. Um, you know, this is a 10 character, so medium is fine. But if it was a longer, we could go with large or even small. Uh, but the big thing here is, if you look down here, you can also change the CSS class name. This will allow you to, uh, if you know what the class is for your WordPress theme, you can use that here, and that way e this form will look just like uh, the other forms. And I'm just going to come down here and save this form. Remember that was called test form, and there it's telling me it's saved. So we're going to go to our list. Now you notice we have test form, and this is a custom form I created before. Now we're going to go to a product. I'm just going to go down here to Woo Products. We're going to list our products. And well, here you can see we have plenty of products here. I'm looking for one in particular. Let's do a search on love. All we need is love. John Lennon. Shot in the back. So sad. Anyway, we're going to come over here. There's I love question mark. Wouldn't it be nice if we could let the person add their own information like I love dad, I love mom, I love chocolate milk. Uh, if you come down here beyond the normal fields here that you're used to in WooCommerce, you'll see that we now have a Gravity Forms product add-ons. This is the section that gets added when you install the WooCommerce Gravity Forms plugin. Without that, you don't have this option to add a form to 
the WooCommerce product. So what you do is you just come here and you're going to choose from one of the forms. They'll be listed here. There's our test form. Now we can display the title and the description, but we don't really want to. We're going to come up here and hit update. And now we're going to click on view product. And here's our product. Now, as you can see, this has a variation. So first we have to choose the variation. I want large. And now, as you can see, it has our field, your name. And you notice how it has down here, because we, we gave it a max of 10 characters, it will actually show us dynamically how many characters we're displaying. And same thing with your friend's name. Now, when you hit Add to Cart, it will add it to the cart. We can hit View Cart, and you'll notice that here's one that I ordered earlier. But here's the one I just ordered, and we have size, large, and here's your field name that you ordered before, your client's input, the friend's name and that input and at this point we could check out and that information will be included with the order so that you can then make a custom t-shirt and that's about it i hope you enjoyed this session of webdesigner-resource.com that's webdesigner-resource.com